In this video, we'll show you how to use Epic Pen, a tool that allows you to draw on screen to get a little bit more value out of your screen captured uh, lecture, to make it a little bit more interactive. So first, you can download Epic Pen for free from this website right here. Once installed on your screen, it will show up as a small icon in the corner like this. And you can alternate between a less intrusive form like this and the full panel in this manner right here. So you can see there's a series of icons within here. Some of them you can only use in the paid version. Specifically, this one right here, which is a whiteboard, as well as uh, this one here, which is the line function and the uh, geometric shape function. Both of those you have to pay for. All of the other features, though, you can use in the free version. So let me show you what these features are like. So the first one is the, uh, is the pencil tool. So the pencil tool, you can choose the size of the point, and you can choose the color right down here. And this just allows you to draw directly on the screen. And this will allow you to draw directly on any screen that you have. It's superimposed on top of whatever program you're running at the moment. If you don't like what you've drawn, you can either just back click by hitting this button right here, or if you have multiple drawings, let's say we've drawn here and here and we've done a circle here and a smiley face, we can get rid of all of those by hitting this delete button, which clears the entire screen. Alternatively, we can also just erase one drawing, one specific one, even if it's not the most recent one, with our eraser tool right here. So I can go and just get rid of this one right here. Now notably, it will not do just a portion of the line, it will do the entire line at once. So we can get rid of these guys. Now if you go and hover over here, you will have the option of choosing this feature right here, which is the highlighter tool. The highlighter tool is going to do exactly what the other one did, except that it is going to create a transparent line. And this is going to be useful for highlighting text. You're going to want a larger, a larger point for this. So we can highlight text like this. And this is really useful if we're, say, showing something like a syllabus. You might want to show that to a student. Now remember, this is on top of the screen. So as you move between pages, whatever we've drawn, unless we get rid of it, is going to be there on the screen as well. But let's say I wanted to remind people where my office is. I can go right in here. That's probably a little bit large. We'll choose this one here. And I could say, just as a reminder, remember that my office is in A116E. And so all of this, if we're using a screen capture technology, will also be captured at the same time. So we can get rid of this right here. So to show you how you might want to use some of these. So first, you could, if you wanted to, combine this. Now we got to remember to always go back to your arrow tool if you want to interact with the screen. Let's get rid of our thing. Our arrow tool right here. So if we were using PowerPoint, we could draw on the PowerPoint using this. Of course, PowerPoint has its own native built-in uh, drawing application. But if we're viewing it in a mode like this, where we say simultaneously showing information on the internet, like let's say, for example, that I am showing aspects of sinkholes, and then I wanted to say, well, you didn't believe me this is a real sinkhole. Let's look sinkholes. Uh, images, and we can pull up some things over here. And in real time, I can be showing you that this is, in fact, an actual sinkhole. And I can be highlighting points over here. Let's get rid of that. Change this to slightly smaller, and I can highlight, you know, the destructive area around here, and I can show that this is the same thing right over here. This is going to make your videos a lot more interactive than they might just be if it's just you speaking or even an image of you, and then otherwise a PowerPoint slide moving around. I really enjoy this tool for teaching. Another thing you can do with it is you can, because you can interact with any page at all, let's clear the whole screen, you can even do things like bring up a three-dimensional image or a video. You can be running video in real time and drawing directly on top of the video. You can draw on anything here. So here's an example again. Let's say we bring up Google Earth and we can go through. Here's the Highlands Park. And I want to show to you this feature right here. And specifically, I want to highlight it so that you are really cognizant of it. And I'll show you this feature right along here. And I'll highlight that. That is the Aspie Fault. And I can get rid of this all, just like this. You can use colors, whichever color you prefer. So here, we'll do the Aspie Fault again, this time in pink. And if I want to highlight in different colors, I can do that like this. So this is a really handy add-on tool to be able to add a little bit of extra value and a little bit of extra, honestly, color to your presentation. 
If it gets in the way, again, you can flick up here and you can minimize it. If you want to move the entire thing around, this upper portion right here is where you're going to click on. So we're just going to click on this and we can then move him over here and get him out of the way if it happens to be in the way at some point. So this, again, is Epic Pen and it is a way of adding quite a bit of extra value to your presentation.